na ningependa tuweze kuinua mikono yetu kuelekea kwa Mungu kufunga macho yako jiwazie ya kwamba upo mbele zake Bwana kwa dakika hizi weka mawazo yako kabisa mbele zake mfalme wa wafalme na Mungu wetu ukijua kwamba kwa kweli unasimama mbele zake yeye mwenyewe ningependa ya kwamba katika kufahamu na kuelewa hivyo uweze kuinua sauti yako kumwelekea Mungu umwambie Bwana ya kwamba niko hapa kwa sababu yako Bwana hakuna mwanadamu angenileta isipokuwa wewe Bwana nimekuja kwa sababu ninajua ya kama nakuja nikutane na wewe mfalme katika jioni ya leo hebu mwambie Bwana tu kwa maneno yako maneno ambayo unayaelewa vyema mwambie Bwana ya kwamba ninajua ya kwamba upo kwenye kikao hiki na ndio maana nimekuja I give you glory I give you praise I give you honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ tonight I declare that I am before you Jehovah God and I will not leave this place the same way that I came in the name of Jesus Christ In Jesus mighty name we pray. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Pigia bwana Yesu makofi mazuri. Kabla tujaketi chini. Nataka usikilize maneno haya kwa makini. Maandiko yanasema in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse number 20 to 24. Maandiko inasema despise not prophesies. Bwana sie sana. Despise not prophesies. In other words, prophecy has some ability in it ambayo Mungu anataka tusije tukai despise. Bwana sie sana. And the, the testimony of Christ is the spirit of prophecy. So anybody mwenye anaweza akawa na kitu ya kushuhudia kumhusu Yesu you can prophesy to yourself. And that prophecy can come to pass. Bwana asiye sana. I want you to take a minute and prophesy to your own life and say I know Jesus is alive in me. I know that Jesus is at work in my life. You are the testimony of Christ. Begin to prophesy to yourself. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, Bwana Yesu anakanda ni yangu. Mimi nina ushuhuda wa Yesu. Hivi roho na bii yuko juu yangu. Inatangaza ya kama sitashindwa. Bali nitapenya, nitapita. Nitapita ndumu na simba na nitapenya kuelekea upande ule mwingine nitaona wema wa Bwana katika nchi ya walio hai 
Amen. Commander, yes, you look on the He is my hope of glory. That seaman is a Tukuka. That seaman is a Kiao Tukufu. It's a Kiao Tukufu Kifena. It's a Kiao Tukufu Kiafia. It's a Kiao Tukufu Kibilikiangu. which is good. Amen. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Amen. And the very God of peace sanctify you. Amen. Holy. Say holy. holy. And I pray God Amen. that your whole spirit Amen. and soul Amen. and body Amen. be preserved blameless Amen. unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Faithful is he that called you, Amen. who also will do it. What does he say? Every no one can you say, faithful is he who has called me. And he will do it. He will sanctify my whole spirit. And soul. And body. He will preserve me. Blameless. Unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yesu makofi mazuri. Help me welcome somebody. Umabia kwamba welcome to the presence of God. And you cannot go out the same. And you cannot go out the same. Now matukai. Amen. Amen. Bwana Yesu asuwe sana. We have come to Mount Zion, the city of the living God. Amen. In the company of innumerable angels. Can you see angels? Well, maybe you cannot see them. The blindness needs to be broken from you. Amen. Because you see, Mungu anakuaga katika tietu kwa wingi sana. Lakini mara nyingi sana tunakosa uh, tunakosa kutambua. Okay? For example, Hapa mahali tulipo kuna vitu nyingi zinazoonekana na ambazo hazionekani. Bwana asiye sana. Kuna viti, kuna meza, kuna watu, kuna uh, kuna microphone, kuna speakers, kuna hewa, kuna vitu nyingi ambazo zinaonekana na ambazo hazionekani. Hizo vitu nimetaja zinaonekana isipokuwa mbili. Amen. Kuna vitu mbili hapo nimetaja ambazo hazionekani. Namba 1 nimetaja nini ambayo inaonekana? Hewa. Number two, nimetaja nini ingine ambayo yonekani? Huh? <laughs> I knew you will not be able to uh, relate. But I want to tell you, nimetaja wanadamu ambayo yonekani. Amen. Wanadamu, haujawai waona. Okay? 
You see their house, but you don't see them. Okay? A man is a spirit. A man is a spirit. You are a spirit. Let me say my mimi ni roho. Na nikona nafsi yangu. Na mimi. Na nafsi yangu. Tunaishi ndani ya nyumba. Na hiyo nyumba. Ni inaitwa mwili. That is why there is no difference between black and white. Yellow or red. Hakuna tofauti. Hizo ni nyumba tu. Okay? Ni nyumba tu. Ni nyumba tu. Tofauti ni wanadamu waliopanga zile nyumba. Wanadamu ambao wame rent hizo nyumba ndio wanakuwa tofauti na waonekanaji na macho. Wao mm. wanatokea wanachungulia kwa uh, madirisha ambao tunayaita macho lakini wenyewe haonekani. Okay? Mwanadamu hujawahi muona. Hebu angalia jirani yako mwambie mimi hujai niona. <laughs> hujawahi niona. That is why that is why mara nyingi sana unaweza fikiri unafahamu mtu unafikiri unamjua mtu lakini baada ya muda unagundua atakuwa tunamjua okay kwa sababu yule mtu ambaye una relate naye ni yule wa nje ambaye si mtu nje hivi unaviona si mtu hapana si mtu utajua si mtu kwa sababu hiki kitu cha nje akiondoka mwenyewe kitabaki alafu watu wanasema mwili wa fulani mwili wa fulani umelazwa mocha mwili wa fulani tunaenda kuusindikiza sasa fulani mwenyewe yuko wapi wakati wa mazishi eh, mwili wa Tom Cohen ulisindikizwa jana juzi lakini mwenyewe yuko wapi mwenyewe hayupo mwenyewe kashatoka Yaani pale unakuta kuna gari ya fulani, kuna mwili wa fulani, kuna nguo za fulani, vitu hizo zote ni zake, lakini yeye mwenyewe hayupo, si mwili na si nguo na si gari. Alright? Kwa sababu mtu mwenyewe sio huyo. Bwana sio sana. Let me tell you this is the truth ambao kwa kiwango kikubwa sana huwa tunafikiri tunajua. Lakini a, kwa kwa kadri ambao unaanza kumtafuta Mungu ndio unaanza kuelewa umuhimu sana wa ufahamu huu. Yeah. Okay? Kwa sababu usipoelewa kwamba wewe ni roho, kuna mistari mingi sana ya Biblia ambayo hutaweza ku relate nayo. Okay? Yeah. Na kuna mambo mengi ya rohoni ambayo hautaweza kuyaelewa. Kwa mfano, hautaweza kuelewa vile Paulo anasema I know a man 14 years ago. Yeah? ambaye kama alikuwa ndani ya mwili ama nchi ya mwili sijui lakini bwana anajua yani pale anatuambia hivi ya kwamba kumbe mwanadamu akiwa ndani ya mwili ama akiwa nchi ya mwili bado ni mwanadamu Yesu anakufa msalabani mwili wake unaninginia msalabani lakini Petro anatuambia kwamba akatoka akaenda kuzimu. Yaani mwili ukabaki pale msalabani. Watu wakafikiri Yesu yuko msalabani. Lakini kumbe shughuli nyingine inaendelea. Yeye ameshatoka, ameenda kuzimu. Anafanya kazi akiwa nje ya mwili. Lakini mwili wake upo Joseph of Arimathea na Nicodemus wakaomba wapewe mwili wa Yesu wakazike. Yesu mwenyewe yuko wapi? Hayupo kwenye mwili. Ameenda kufanya shughuli nyingine muhimu kuzimu. Lakini mwili amewacha pale. Ndio maana wachawi wakiacha mili mtu anaweza kuja hata kanisani akakaa chini akalala. Wewe unafikiri mwanadamu amelala lakini mwili umebaki pale unalindwa na roho ya uchawi mtu ametoka kwenda kuloga watu wengine kanisani kinacho loga si roho ya uchawi kinacho loga ni wanadamu kazi ya roho ya uchawi ni kulinda mwili wakati mwanadamu ametoka kwenda kuwekea wengine magonjwa kwenda kuwekea wengine hasira 
kwenda kuwekea wengine matatizo, kwenda kuwapania ajali, kwenda kuwapania mikosi balaa. Mtu anaenda anawapandia. That is why Yesu alisema beware of men. Okay? Roho ya uchawi kazi yake ni kulinda mwili wakati mwenye mwili ametoka. Maana mwili bila roho umekufa. Alright? Ukiachwa hivyo bila mwili bila roho utakufa. Na roho ya uchawi haiwezi ikaenda kutenda kazi duniani kwa maana dunia imepeanwa kwa wanadamu. Aha. Eh? Yeah? right. Ni pepo kama pepo zile zingine. Kama ingekuwa na right haingekuwa na haja ya kutafuta mtu. Yes. Right? Lakini kwa sababu haina right so inatafuta mtu inamuingia inampatia asira ya kichao inampatia mawazo ya kichao sasa mtu anatoka amekuchukia kiasi ya kwamba kwa sababu unafanikiwa unastahili kufa roho ya mwanadamu ndiyo ina uwezo wa kusema sitaki afanikiwe sitaki afanikiwe ikipitisha that will ya mwanadamu shetani anaitumia lakini roho ya uchawi inabaki inalinda mwili mtu anatoka na programi ya kichawi lakini ni mtu ni mtu ni mwanadamu kabisa so anaenda akiwa na programi ya kishetani wanadamu ndio wanasababisha wanadamu wengine wapatwe na majanga wapato na matatizo the same way let me tell you wacha kuchukulia kama ni jambo ambalo ni complicated sana hapana it is the same way vile ambavyo wewe na mimi tunatamani tusaidie watu eh tunatamani tusaidie watu yani ukimuona mtu unasikia kumbariki unasikia kumfanyia kitu kizuri chana nilikuwa mahali mhubiri na ubiri nilipomuona tu nikasikia kwamba jacket ile yangu ya leather iko pale kwa gari imekaa pale sana nasikia nimpatie Sakiwa mtu ana roho ya kichawi anasikia hiyo kangua amevaa ni kazuri sikararuke. Uh-huh. Lakini si yeye. Ni roho inamprogram. Uh-huh. Na haina uwezo wa kurarua. Uh-huh. Na haina uwezo wa kuamuru iraruke. Uh-huh. Lakini wewe una uwezo wa kusema anatembeaje si akatike mguu. Una uwezo the same way tunaweza kusema amekuwa kipofu muda mrefu funguka macho malaika hawawezi mapepo hawawezi yeah. all right ndio maana Mungu lazima akupate wewe akufanyie programi ya kiungu ukiona kiweto unasikia siamke yeah. yeah. that's right yeah? Ukiona mtu anateswa unasikia si mateso haya yaondoke lakini wao ndio maana wanatengeneza mashule wanatengeneza makambuni ya kutengeneza chakula hili shuleni wagundue ni mtoto yupi anakaa ana kitu cha Mungu kwa sababu ni mtoto hawezi kukilinda Waanzie pale mwanzo kabisa. That time believers wamelala. Wanasema kuanza shule ni pesa nyingi. Utatoa bishamba. Utachengaje majengo ya shule? Wamelala. Wale wana roho ambayo inawafacilitate. Wewe una roho ambayo ina uwezo wa kukufacilitate. Lakini how many people are willing enough to be facilitated by the spirit of God? Let me tell you. Before upate the will to carry out the will of God, Mungu bado anakuwa hana mtu wa kutumia. Samson kila tukio lililotokea kwake lilimpatia the willingness, the will to carry out the will of God ya kwanza ameenda timna akakuwa short changed akapeana the riddle so akawa ameshindwa 
akatoka kwa sababu hiyo faini yake ilikuwa ni yale manguo alikuwa ameahidi akaenda akawapiga watu akatoa yale manguo akaleta shamba ya pili wakapeana mchumba wake kwa mtu mwingine akarudi pale kwa hasira akachoma ngano yao wae Mungu alitaka achome ngano lakini angechoma asipokuwa provoked eh yani Samson aprovokiwe yeye mwenyewe katika hasira ile atende mapenzi ya Mungu eh ya tatu siku ile ambao wamemfungia kwa mji ameenda kwa Kaaba kisha wakaamua ya kwamba usiku huu tutafunga mji kabisa ili asubuhi tumshike Samson tumalize kwa sababu ya, ku, ya kutaka nafsi yake ipone akabeba gate za mji akikimbiza nafsi yake akangoa malango ya mji ya mwisho ilikuwa ni kwa sababu ya macho yake sasa kuongea zote wakati ambao alitumia jobon alikuwa amefungwa mikono asiweze kufanya chochote apeana kwa Filisti waliposhant Roho mtakatifu akaja juu yake kwa nguvu akajua lazima niponye nafsi yangu sasa pale si kwamba naobey Mungu hapana mimi Samsoni niponye nafsi yangu it is your will ambao sasa Mungu anaitumia anatimiza maksudi yake Usiposema kwamba anataka kuwa tajiri wae kwa sababu ya hii na hii na hii usipokuwa na sababu ya kusema hivyo utajiri wako utabakia potential you be a potential millionaire a potential wealthy man a potential blessed man but if una, that is why that is the reason why Mungu utuachilia mazito No, but he doesn't love us. Ah. Uh-uh. Masito ya kukalia unasema siwezi kuendelea kwa hali hii. All right? Pale usemi nitaobey Mungu niwe tajiri hapana. Unasema sitaki kukaa kwenye matatizo haya. Sasa katika hiyo wewe kutaka kutoka unaanza kugundua ya kwamba it was the will of God for you to become. Bana sio sana. Amen. And let me say this ya kwamba Maandiko yamesema ya kwamba that your whole body, your whole spirit, soul and body ikuwe sanctified. Now, angalia hapa. Shetani ana uwezo wa kufanyia chochote roho yako. Bwana Jesus. Your spirit is completely fully saved. Amen. Amen. Yaani siku ile ulipokea Yesu tu hivi, roho yako ilifanyika kiumbe kipya mia kwa mia All right If you die now kama Yesu yuko ndani yako you straight away go to heaven Amen, Amen. So roho yako inamfahamu Mungu mia kwa mia inamjua yani huwa inashindwa namna ya kuelezea nafsi yako na mwili wako Who God is inamjua mia kwa mia inamjua zile mambo zote ninazokuambia hapa roho yako inazijua zote roho yako inaweza kuandika biblia kutoka mwanzo mpaka mwisho mpaka revelation inaweza inajua kila kitu ambao kiko kwenye biblia roho yako inakijua yani kabisa inajua kwa sababu kilichoko pale ni 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 attributes za Mungu aliyetuzaa alright attributes za Mungu aliye tusa the DNA which produced us ndiye imeandikwa pale kwa Biblia uh-huh. all right so if you are a piece of God himself then all the characteristics of God are in you all right zote kabisa minus nothing zote uko nazo but you are limited by the soul and by the body paul 
Paulo anasema that day ukitoka kwa mwili you will know just as you are known wow ah that day utagundua kwamba kabla hujakuja duniani ulikuepo mbinguni na Mungu utagundua mahali ulikuwa unakaa mbinguni utagundua saa hii akili yako akili akili ya akili it is so limited haiwezi kushika kumbukumbu hiyo haiwezi but sometimes your mind huwa inapika huwa inapika inaanza ku relate na na Jeremiah before i found you in your mother's womb i knew you your mind inaanza ku kupata a glimpse ya kwamba the existence before birth is a reality it's a reality all right the purpose ya your mind, your brain kukosa kushikanisha ni kwa sababu Mungu anakupenda sana na ataki ukue homesick amekutuma kazini ataki uko yani leo ukagundua ukweli wote utasema kama Paul ya kwamba yes. i am constrained in here sijui nichague gani niende ama nibaki yani uamuzi ni wangu niende ama nibaki hapa lakini anasema kwa sababu yenu wacha nibakie kidogo kwenye mwili mm. all right so when the enemy cannot do anything to your body or to your spirit then he tries to do something to your soul so that akufunge na hiyo kitu ambacho ameweza kufanyia nafsi yako kwa sababu the strength of the spirit is the ability of the soul to grasp the education present in your spirit yes eh? yes the strength is of your spirit is the ability of your soul to relate and participate in the knowledge about iko ndani ya roho yako vile una uwezo wa kupiki mambo ya rohoni ukayaleta kwenye nafsi yako ndivyo roho yako inaanza kuwa na nguvu kwenye eneo ya nafsi yes all right kwa sababu inaijenga it is the same way that now the ability ya you are you are you are your physical body to understand and relate with what is happening in your soul ndio inakuwa the strength of your soul unaanza kuwa emotionally stable because your brain can be able to understand your mind and accept the programming coming from your mind which is not originating from your mind but originating from your heart the heart is the center of the spirit the mind is the center of the soul the brain is the center of the body the art controls your spirit the mind controls your soul and the brain controls all the functions of your body okay so if your 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 heart is okay as it is okay yake kubwa ni kujaribu kuona kama your soul your mind imekuwa programmed in a way 
that inaanza kukitisha mizigo kutoka kwa your spirit ingia kwa your soul that is what the bible says i wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health as your soul prospers because your health is a function of the prosperity of your soul what gets sick is not the body the body receives the symptoms from your soul that is why sickness is sort tunaweza kuziongelesha zikasikia na zikatoka why it is a simple programming yenye programiwa kwa your soul and the soul is programs it, it is programmed using words using words nisikilizeni kwa makini maneno haya unayaona tunayaongea ndio chakula cha nafsi kila kitu chakula chake ni kile ambacho kili kiproduce Samaki walitoka kwa maji. Chakula chao kipo kwa maji. Wanyama wale waliotoka nchi kavu, chakula chao kinatoka kwenye nchi kavu, including your own body. Mwili wako ulitoka kwa mchanga, kila kitu ambacho mwili unahitaji na unatamani ni mchanga. Hiwe ni chapati ni ngano inalimwa kwa mchanga kiambiwa elezea vile ambavyo kambegu kanaangushwa kwa mchanga na kanageuka kanakuwa mti na baadaye kanakuwa mbegu ya ngano uweze elezea lakini ni mchanga ule ule una produce after its kind magari haya unaona tunayatamani yote ni mchanga ni chuma inatoka kwa mchanga ndege hizi zote na aja yake kile kinachozihitaji ndege magari chakula ni mwili si roho na si nafsi alright roho ilitoka kwa Mungu that is why the bible says ya kwamba roho itarudi kwa Mungu aliyeipea right god produced us The Bible says we are his offspring. Yes. All right? Yes. If we are his offspring. John anatuambia kwa maana Mungu ni roho. Kwa maana Mungu ni roho. Na kama Mungu ni roho, hawezi akazaa mwili. Yes. Hapana. Ana produce after his kind. After his likeness, after his image. Ukipiga okay, Mungu picha hivi pa hiyo snapshot itakutolea roho likeness yake bado ni roho ha ni roho in genesis chapter number 1 verse 26 where the bible says let us make man in our image and likeness what was produced there male and female on the same day it was the spirit man male and female on the same day in the same breath yes. all right it was the spirit man he was alive but a man would not have a body and a man would not have a soul That is why in Genesis chapter 2 from verse 5 down especially verse 7 actually verse 5 inasema kwamba and there was no man to till the ground okay not that there was no man but there was no man who had the capabilities of tilling the ground because he was a spirit man he couldn't till the ground he couldn't even relate to it because the ability to till the ground is vested in the physical man yes. not in the spirit man in the physical man ok 
Eh? Then Mungu aka akachukua udongo aka form. Unasema form. Man out of the dust. Now Hii maji inakaa kuwa ina shape. Si ndio eh? Lakini imechukua shape ya chupa. Yeah. That's true. Si eh? So the spirit man was visible to the spirit God. Okay? But he was not visible to any other creation. So God who could see the spirit man akamtengenezea form. Okay? and the form followed the outline of the spirit man okay ukitaka to form something ya kufit hii chupa utaitengenezea kama mold like a mold inchi ya hiyo chupa vizuri so the spirit man and the physical man wanafanana kwa muonekano all right all right kwa sababu is a cover a outward cover okay so huyo mtu ambaye ni wa rohoni Mungu akaweza kumweni close into an encasement ambao ni ya udongo for life but he cannot move because he is trapped inside dust that dust was not alive it was dead then he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life now breath is not spirit you are breathing right now are you bringing out your spirit <laughs> it is your breath not your spirit yes. so most people say when god breathed into the nostrils of the man it is the time alikuwa anaweka roho ndani ya mwanadamu that's not true that's not true your breath is not your spirit Okay? God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. So what produced the soul? The breath of God. Okay? What is the breath of God? The breath of God. And because everything has to be proven through scripture. The breath of God is his word. It is his word. The Bible says that all scripture is inspired by God. And another translation says it is God breathed. the same material that produced the soul it is the same material we handle as the word of god that is why every day you come you come into a school to feed your soul so the word of god is written to help your soul not your spirit your spirit feeds from God himself from the spirit of God if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you he will immortalize rejuvenate and quicken your mortal bodies so your soul benefits from what already 
is the property of your spirit. Alright? And then you interact with the word of God and you are able to build a strong soul. A strong soul, a strong body, a strong spirit, a strong soul. All right? So, God works from your spirit to your soul to your body. Inward, out. Okay? Yes. But the devil knows he cannot work that way. So he works and he tries to work from your body to your soul to your spirit. Mm -hmm. Right? And so that is why the Bible says if we walk after the flesh, we die. Why? Because the instructions of the flesh are not coming from God. Alright? Now, I wanted to look at this. I wanted to come to that point so that I may show you two things. Number one, do you remember Daniel when he said, when the Bible says that he purposed not to defile himself with the delicacies of the king? You remember? Yes. Why? This is just food. And the Bible says food for the belly. And belly for the food. And both of them will be destroyed first. This is just food. But why is it that Daniel from the onset, he says, the Bible tells us that he purposed not to defile himself. Does it mean that food can define. What is defined? It is a spirit. Isn't it? But now here we are talking about a material that is supposed to go to the body. That is in Daniel 1 verse 8. But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Alright? Yes. Now, very naive believers, today they are walking around telling people that these things don't matter. It is the reason why Islam is spreading so quickly in the nations of the world today. Because they understood something. A believer with a pure spirit and with a pure conscience in their soul, if they feed on food, sacrifice to idols, the temple of the Holy Spirit is defiled. And so the spirit becomes uncomfortable. Because the Bible says, come out of them. And I will be your God. You will be my sons and my daughters. That's the only place I know in scripture. I might separate daughters and sons. In the New Testament. Daniel purposed. That he will not defile himself. With the delicacies of the king. And let me tell you this. You also see the word delicacy again when it is talking about the kingdom of Babel and what makes them prosper. Yeah? Revelation 18. And verse... We can begin and read very fast from verse 1 to 3. Revelation 18. You see, there is that which makes people to have influence over others. See your education. Mm -hmm. It is not BD. It's 
Hapana si bidii. Watu wana bidii bwana, wanaamka saa 8 usiku, wanaenda kubeba mizigo pale marikiti. Wana push the hotel. Wana nguvu kweli kweli na wanangangana na wanabidii sana. How many of them have been chopper? Wangapi wana wamevuta mkokoteni wakaenda kukaa Si bidii. Sio bidii na si akili. Jenga Karume alifika kule alifika bila kwenda shule ya mtu. Ali, alianza na kuuza makaa. Watu wangapi mbona wameuza makaa wakanunua baisikeli. Wacha pikipiki. Sio sio bidii. Hapana. Maisha yanakuwa controlled rohoni. Revelation 18 verse 1 to 3. And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power and the earth was lightened with his glory and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying Babylon the great is fallen is fallen and is become the habitation of, of devils and the old of every false spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird verse three, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of our fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of our delicacies ah huh? the babylonian system it has an understanding ya yeah, delicacies and they use food to grow rich they use defilements to be able to become that which they become they use fornication to be able to control now It is the same thing that is written in Revelation chapter 2 where the Bible talks about the doctrine of Balak who taught Balak the king of Moab namna ya kuwekea mtego stumbling blocks to the children of Israel by eating things sacrificed to idols and to commit fornication those two things they go together in the kingdom of darkness food sacrificed to idols ranks very high it is an entry point to any human spirit that food when it is prepared it is good for those who are demonic it is poisonous to those who are of God Hiyo ndio maana kila sherehe ambazo hutengenezwa honkami ya MP lazima watu wafi Honkami ya mundi ya wao kandege kanaanguka majaba wanakata moto Honkami si juu ya MP nani baada ya muda wale watu wako pale wanaanza kujinyonga magari yanaanguka yakitoka sherehe ya mtu fulani ya hizo vitu zinakuwa ni kafara ambazo ziliprogramiwa kwa chakula and listen to me carefully sio rocket science upon everything that the devil does he picked it from the kingdom of god na akai geuza all right that education they picked it from the mystery of the holy communion 
Okay? Because the only communion ni nyama za mwili wa mtu. Ni damu ya mtu. Kabisa. Lakini ukila ni mkate. Ukila ni divai ni juice. Lakini ikiingia ndani inatenda kazi ya damu ya mtu. Inatenda kazi ya mwili wa mtu. Lakini kwa mdomo ni boflo. Ni chakula. Ndivyo watu wanaalikwa wana tunafungua nyumba njooni tumewapikia chakula. Lakini chakula kile kimeambiwa, kimeongeleshwa ya kwamba watu watano katikati ya wale wanakuja wakikula chakula hiki wapate na kazi. Wakila chakula hiki wafe kwa ajali. Wapate na mikosi. Nyota zao ziame kwao zije kwa mwenye karamu. Biashara zao zitoke kwa mikono yao zije kwao. So unashangaa mtu anawaalika na bidii. Ya kama si uche, si uche. na especially wale watu ambao amepangia kwamba wakija tu. Wale kile chakula. Every other person will eat. Lakini like nobody wewe wa, wa, watu wengine wakichukua nyama wanakula wewe utakuwa unachukua kifo unakula lakini kwa mtomo kinaonja kama nyama nzuri Chama mmoja kule kwetu aliweka sherehe hiyo aka set up na aka program vizuri jirani yake mmoja akawa anakula kuliko watu wale wengine Paka watu wanashangaa ni kwa nini huyu jamaa anakula sana hivi Jamaa alikuwa anafanya kazi machakos hospital huyo jirani yake wanafanya kazi machakos hospital <laughs> ana tena kitingiza kichwa sababu anamjua jirani yetu ni ni one of our distant cousins and uh, the following day jamaa badala ya kurudi kazini machakos alingoja mke wake akatoka akaenda shamba akaingia kwa nyumba akajijonga kile si kifo hapa huyo mtu hakuna mali amenda a a ni mamambo tu yanafanywa muone kama ni yeye anamingilia pale macho tu yanatiwa kitu fulani kivumba macho fulani na kwa sababu ya hali ya uzuni inayotanda wakati kuna msiba hakuna mtu anauliza maswali ni yeye kweli hakuna hata watu wakiona ni kama si yeye hawezi uliza maswali yule mtu anakuwa hakuna mahali ameenda amechukuliwa na huyu aliyeweka sherehe yupo nyumbani kwake yupo akiwa mzima yupo nyumbani kwake sasa yeye kile kitu alikuwa amelodiwa nacho na Mungu kwenye nafsi yake ndio kinakuwa utajiri wa huyu aliyemchukua yani wanadamu wote wameumbwa na Mungu wakiwa na utajiri mkubwa kwenye nafsi zao utajiri upebwa na nafsi That is why anybody ambaye anaweza ku develop nafsi yake huwa anafikia kiwango cha juu sana cha utajiri. Whether I may develop kulingana na kanuni za kiwanadamu, how kanuni za Mungu, how kanuni za kishetani. That is why watu wakisoma soma kuna mambo utoka kwa sababu nafsi imekuwa program the intellect ya mwanadamu imekuwa program in a way inaweza pick to utajiri fulani lakini tule tunaokotwa ni tu vitu tudogo sana kagari kamoja kanyumba labda ama kupanga nyumba ambayo ni ya bei mzuri ni tu vitu tu tu ajabu ajabu tu vitu tuna maana ndio intellect intellectuals hawanaanga utajiri wewe ni onyesha my intellectuals ambao wana utajiri ma technocrats hawa wenye wako kwa serikali yetu hawa wanakimbianga kwenda kubeg kwa wanasiasa yeah. ambao ni wafanyabiashara yeah. hawana chochote ma lecturer hawakuagi na chochote lakini ma intellectuals hawa wewe enda uangalie kwenye university zile unajua utakuta magari ya lecturers ni madogo kuliko ya watoto wa matajiri wenye wanajua naf- namna ya kudoka utajiri kwa watu wengine wakajiwekea wao unakuta mm-hmm. mpaka lecturer karibu aombe mwanafunzi lift ama loan 
In fact, many of them wana wambaga. <laughs> wana wambaga sana. Unaona lecture ana treat wanafunzi vizuri mpaka anamwekea marks yenye hapo ili angalau apate ka kitu. Sadi intellectual. Okay? Kwa sababu kinachotajirisha wanadamu si elimu. Elimu ni nzuri. Huwa inasaidia kuondoa ngiza ngiza fulani. Ndani wanadamu ujue mambo fulani. Alright? Lakini kile utajirisha wanadamu ni kile Mungu aliweka ndani yake ambacho ukikigundua unaweza tumia elimu yako kikakutajirisha. Alright? Yes. Unaweza kukiita nyota, unaweza kukiita the endowment of God, unaweza kukiita uh, nini sasa? Unaweza kukiita God given eh eh God given potential in you exactly. All right? So that potential, whatever name you give to it, it is something about what wengi wanakufanya bila ku develop. Hiyo haina mambo ya ni nani amesoma sana ama ni nani hajasoma sana. Hiyo swali yake ni moja. Unajua watu ambao shuleni ile mahesabu anajua ni 1 plus 1 ya biashara peke yake. Lakini wanafanya mambo wanajenga ngorofa na wanaajiri manager amesoma kuliko wao. Kwa sababu hawezi manager. Wanamwajiri mtu amesoma kuliko wao. Na wanakacha hiyo mind ya huyo mwenye ameajiri. Hawezi ama hata akitukano anakuja kesho kazini. Na amesoma kuliko huyo. chakula huwa kinafungua mlango wa nafsi ya mtu inajisimu hiwe ni upande wa Mungu ama upande wa shetani ndio maana Yesu anasema if you don't eat my flesh you have no life yes. and you have no passion in me that's true that's true That is why coming last day itakuwa our first holy communion Amen. and we are going to be taking our holy communion with that understanding okay yeah. and after some time i will teach you something ambayo leo kwa kiwango kikubwa sana ina potential ya kufanya tuito cult and i don't care because what i care is if them they use delicacies to wax rich to become rich then you need to understand the place of the holy covenant food to your prospect amen oh yes right yeah i want to come to a place where mungu akiwa anasaidia we will demystify the only communion to a level that you can be able to always take the only communion in your home in the church that meets at your home this is now apostolic every apostle kuna kitu fulani ambacho Mungu anampatiaga chenye akikuwa kwa kanisa before all right because look at it this way if we have to take all communion every day of our lives it cannot be happening in church it is supposed to happen in the church that meets in your house very simple all the times you know all communion when i could the bible says every day they used to go to to go from door to door fellowshipping and breaking bread every day every day so wakikula hile kama walikuwa wamekula chakula ambacho kilikuwa defined kinapikwa kinakuwa neutralized na hiyo yenye wamekula every day lakini saa hii tunakula products za makambuni ya madebo worshipa yeah. wanapika mikate yao wanaiongelesha maneno ya mashetani yao 
unachukua na katakatia watoto na wapakia haraka haraka unakimbia kazini. Ah? Hauna time ya kuisanctify, unaomba tu maombi ya haraka haraka. Maziwa yameproduciwa na watu. Si kwa watu kwa mashine au kampuni hapa hapa. That is somebody's idea. Hiyo kampuni naona. All right. So wewe ukiweka ka kioski kako kadogo ndani yako kuna kuwa na kitu inakwambia nenea nyanya hizi ziende. Nenea hizi waharusi. Hebu nisikilizeni tunakumalizia. If you want to have a serious lasting impact in the kingdom then lazima uelewe the place of the covenant food versus food sacrificed to idols sio kila sherehe unaalikwa unaenda na sio kila sherehe unaalikwa unaenda na unakaa tu mkule zingine unakaa unasema leo niko sawa zingine unaenda unasema hii chakula unaiombea maombi wakiomba maombi wao ni ya kuwavumbaza macho tu sema fulani ombea chakula anaombea chakula huyo anamwambia ombea chakula ni wao hawezi omba maombi itaharibu the programming in the food so ukipokea unaiombea maombi yako right unaiombea maombi yako let me finish by saying this the the level ambao Mungu anatupeleka ndani yake in this dispensation inahitaji kujua hivi that for a powerful church it must have these things number one it must understand the power of the holy spirit na wapoke bana sio sana na wapoke the power let me say the power the power of the holy spirit bana sio sana hiyo ni kanisa lolote lenye nguvu ni lazima hapo ndio starting point kama unajaza roho mtakatifu na hautafuti kujazwa unajikosea because mambo yote utakayokutana nayo katika ufalme yana something to do with the holy ghost right in fact the kingdom raw wa ufalme ni roho mtakatifu the same way raw wa shetani ni roho wa ufalme wa shetani Right? Number two, we must understand the power of giving sacrifices. Sacrifices. Sacrifices begin with giving your body as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto God. And the moment you give your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, there is nothing else that you cannot give because it is the body that works. Na wale wanakataa kutoa wanasema ni jasho langu bwana. Tell somebody life is too short to live by your sweat. It is too short to live by sweat only. Eti kwamba kila kitu utie bidii <laughs> utaendesha tu gari tu mzee utavaa suti ambazo zimeparara itakuwa vigumu sana if today you are paid a salary of 50000 for example 
The tithe of that money is 5,000. Isn't it? Then, nyumba unalipa pisa kapi? Mtu akilipa 50,000, anasikia kama anatupesa tukulipa nyumba nzuri. Sidiwe? So kanyumba anaeza lipa kama ya 15,000. Sidiwe? Hiyo ni 20,000 already. Sawe? Transport takwane ya pisa kapi? Eh? 5,000? 5,000 sawa. Maybe 5,000. Ongeza pale. Hiyo ni nusu ya mshara. Ime na hivyo. 25,000. Chakula. 10K. 10,000. Na hiyo ni hili ambao. You know 10,000 na manisha unakula pesa kapi pande? Ndiyo chakula chako kiwe ni 10,000. Ina maana kwamba 10,000 divided by 30? 300. 330. 330. Breakfast to come Mia. 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 Hawezi kaa kwa kioski ya, ya pale kwa barabara. Hapana, anasikia ako tofauti kidogo. Sio Hawezi. So lazima atawaza kula kasamaki ya 300 ma mchana. Eh, kwa sababu ya 450 imeuzwa sana. Sio Within a short time, hiyo 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 10,000 haiwezi tosha. Lakini tumpatie tuyo 10,000. That is that, that 5,000. Okay? That 5,000. Tumabakisha nini sasa hako? Anunue hizi ma foundation, ma nini, ma... Eh? Hizo, eh, taxes ya serikali. Bado, atuja ito hako. Taxes ya serikali tuito ya hako. Kama hako, sanga pi hivi? Kama 5,000 ama? Ama ni 12,000. 12,000 ni matolewa? Yeah. Sasa mabaki na kapi? Negative. Eh? Uko negative. Oh, 3,000. Actually, 3,000, yes. Yes, kasa usipa 35. Ya baki 3,000. 3,000. Tuseme, tuseme ki baati baati. Uwe we ni economist kweli kweli. Uwamue kusafe. Sindiwe? Uwamue kusafe 3,000. 3,000 times 12? 36,000. 36,000. What can you see for that 6,000? Okay. Times 10? 360,000. Hiyo ni miaka kumi. Times 2 for 20 years? 720. Hiyo ni 20 years. Sini yoye? 20 years. 20 years. 20 years tumeongeza kwa tuseme alianza hiyo kazi akiwa that maybe 30 years. Sindiwe? Yeah. Yeah. So 20 years ago? 50 years. Ako 50. Amebakisha miaka hii. Aanze kuona retirement ya kawaida. Ata retire kabla hajashika 1 million na mkono 1. Si 2 1. I tell you that life is too short to live by your strength. You need miracles. Kabisa, you need them. It is not a possibility to live by sweat. Now can make it in life. It's not possible. It's not possible. If you are saving to buy a car, sasa you are saving to buy a car. Now that time, Zime. <laughs> that time Zime panda panda magari. So, kagari ya hiyo bayi, kamechoka. Kanza ukimiza garage. Hile uliko na safe. Unaacha kusafe. Inaliwa na kagari. Life is very short. To be able to live by your side. It's not possible. Lazima wanze kuelewa vitu za kufanya, as early as now, to change 
your cause in life. Amen. What does your sound? Let me show up. Let me show up. You see, God blesses us through people. Alright? The Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, shall God pour into your bosom. Huh? Shall God? Shall men? Lakini watu ni wakupatia good measure. Watu ni wakumu. Tell us the only gift kulingana vile ambavyo ume soften their hearts by your giving. Yeah? And he hakuna njia ingine. Now that education ne mpaka ianze kupokelewa in your soul. Now we relate now to talk scripture. Right? If your soul doesn't receive that education, then you live by yourself. The strength. Unaishi kwa misuli. But if you begin to understand your namna ya education, una realize ya kwamba unaanza kuwa na maisha mengine tofauti. Siku ya kuresign haitafika na ipite bila wewe kujua. Why? Because you have begun to live by another understanding. <laughs> the earlier you exit from <laughs> the rat race in our to employment, the earlier <laughs> actually the better for you because the earlier you begin to plan to get rich. Hakuna mtu mmoja amewahi tajirishwa na employment. Employment doesn't make anybody rich. It doesn't. Na itaanza na wewe. Mbia jirani yako itaanza na wewe. Begin to trade with the little that you earn. Begin to trade with it. Begin to trade with it. Emi ni wambia ni watu wa mungu. Maybe this will be the last thing I'm mentioning now <coughs> as we conclude. Kwamba, today, kabla siya ingia hapa, nikuwa naongea na mtu moja. Akaniambia kwa maali kule muyoko, kwa one of our friends, ambaye najua kwamba, at one point, alibarikiwa na kashamba. So, akakimbia, akadieka. Anasikia vizuri kwamba alipangi rent. Okay? Mimi nikabarikiwa na kashamba. Nikakatoa kama sadaka. Sadaka nalipa rent. Yeye alipi rent. But tunapitana. Tunapitana. Because I pushed my land yes. into the system in it to so that it will come back to me a good mission. Press down the shaken together and running over Lord. shall men pour into my boss. So the moment Zikianza kunye a good mission, Kala kakwa kia ni kwa milia, katakuwa ni yakot, lagi katakuwa kama child play. Huh? Now, if your soul does not receive an education, kama yu kwa mungu, you will act normally, kama watu wa kawaida. Mm-hmm. On last day, as we share the Holy Communion, I will share on the three kinds of wisdom. The three kinds of wisdom, and how to develop a mindset. You see, a mindset operates you. Mm-hmm. Eh? 
And the mindset of good drive. You don't drive it. The other two kinds of wisdom, you interact with them as in I tell you a participation. But when you get to the wisdom, by night of mindset, night of pronesis, when you get to that level of wisdom, it operates you. Yani, before you think, you find yourself operating in a way. You know what I mean? Generally, when I'm 12 years old, I'm Nikiwa kwa mkutano kwa rafiki yangu injili kauliwa tukaanza kuomba akiomba akanikumbusha kwamba aliniongelesha ya kwamba tutafute mahali penye tunaweza release kwa kwe kwetu akanikumbusha tukiwa kwa maombi pale tunaomba akanibea jo tuombe aliposema jo tuombe sikuangalia kwamba ni rafiki yangu nikapiga magoti pale akaomba alikomaliza kuomba nikaingia kwa mfuko nikachukua ka elfu moja nikawekelea hapo kwa hiyo madhabahu imeongea hiyo maneno why niko na ka elfu tano tu peke yake ikakuwa saa ya kutoa sadaka nikachukua kengine nikatoa sadaka nikitoka pale nikasikia hapana na ile ka jacket ka leather ka kwa gari nikachukua nikapatia yule mhubiri alikuwa anahubiri right leo nikapata mke wake anakimbia tao nikachukua 500 nikampatia yani kale ka 5000 nikaachia mke wangu 500 yani kanaisha ka hivyo kama vile si pesa unaelewa eh kwa sababu ninajua pesa yangu ni ile nimepea hiyo tu ndio yangu hila nimekula mimi si yangu i cannot lay claim to it na iwezi nizalia chochote. And let me tell you. Hmm. As I was going <laughs> to town. Tukaongea kidogo na mtu, akaniambia ngoja kidogo. Una mtu pale ambao unamwamini unaweza mtuma haja kwa. Eh? Yeah? Nikamwambia wacha nitafute sasa hivi nikutumie mtu. Nikaongea na Dennis ni mtume. After a few minutes akaniambia ama wacha nione kama watu wa mpesa wanaweza niwekea hata kama atoe kamera mbili mimi sijui anagoweka nini nikikaka akanitumia samani now i know kwa nini wachungaji na wasemaji walipewa pesa yao samani you know i i used to kusab <laughs> the level of jealous about about naweza ni nyingi But let me tell you. <laughs> you see, it is one thing to hear that about God akafanya akafanya lakini waliza watu nao walifanya nini? Unaweza Mungu ananiweka kwa kitu hapo. Ya giving, giving, giving. Hmm? To giving. Na nakwambia na tungine nimefanya fanya tungi hapo. Tungi tu hivyo kidogo kidogo hivyo tukatoka. Mm. But I tell you. Wow. <laughs> Yule Mungu mwenye anapea daga 100 fold aje ikufa. You call. Amen. Yuko sana. Amen. Yuko sana. Bana Jesus. Amen. How I pray ya kwamba hizi chakula chakula unakula kula waanze kuzi kujinasua kwa mitego yake. Amen. Unasikia ile story nikwambia ya shule? Mm-hmm. Watu ambao ni madevo worshipper wanajua wakitaka kupata sadaka waweke shule. Yeah. Wewe unasikia tu shule ukuta ukaangukia watoto, watu wananialia unafikiri kwamba ni ukuta uliamkia watoto. Hakuna kifo ambacho ni bahati mbaya. Hapana. Kinapangwa na kinaprogramiwa tarehe fulani. Ili shule iendelee kufanya vizuri. Ili madhabahu ya mtu imalike. Mimi najua. Wewe ukae tayari kwa sababu utakuwa unanitoa polisi mara nyingi sana. Kwa sababu kwa sababu me I know some of the some of the things ambazo niko about to be speaking and especially in live broadcast. Ni vitu ambazo 
walali wake tutakuwa tunaulizania na huku in the dock and i'm ready for it that is my york usinirudia hata kidogo wewe beba yako that's mine that's mine tunaenda pale kina umana kina kina umana because the work that we have to do haiwezi fanyikia chini ya beza haiwezi haiwezi na wanaume wanaoniaga huko huko ndio vichwa zinaangalia nanga wanagongana ki yule ambaye yake ni mchanga ina tabazuka inaisha so usishtuke bila bireti so hapo ndio tunaenda kwa sababu haiwezekani watu wakawa wanapotea potea tu kama mchezo haiwezekani kula hizi unaona tunakula hanza kujiset kwamba uanze kuwa na beka yako anza kuwa na dairy farm yako hata wewe unaweza uza maziwa zion milk yeah na tukija kununua tuko sure ya kwamba hii imenenewa na roho yetu enda Mombasa yote uone kama kuna hoteli yoyote inauza halal food ambao utakuta wakiwa wanauza dasani water Hmm? Ama ile ya mama inaitwa inaitwa still waters. Wewe kama utaona hoteli moja imeweka hiyo huko. Why? They know if they are to maintain customers wafungwe na chakula hiki na wafungwe na imachi. Mungu anasema I bless your food and your water. Hizo vitu zikirongwa umerongwa vizuri. Esther na fit. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Manga iko mengi ambayo tunahangaishwa. Tunaweza kuyazima. Tunaweza kuyazima. And I don't want us to take for granted. Mambo yale Mungu anatunenea tafadhali. Tuanze kuyaweka in practice. Watu waingie kwa biashara ya kilimo. Watu waingie kwa biashara ya kutusomeshia watoto mashule 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 eh ile tupesa unaweza lipwa shuleni kama mwalimu you can make them in less than 2-3 days one student exactly one student you can na kama ni pension hakuna <laughs> kitu ibia watu kama pension Watu wanachukua pesa zako wanafanyisha kazi. Mm-hmm. Wananunua manyumba na magari alafu mshowe wanakulipa kama 5% ya ile wamemeka. Na hiyo ni ukizeka. Sasa zile uwezi itumia. Can you imagine pension scheme? Hakuna moja hakuna pension scheme mbaya kama zile ambazo Acha <laughs> nisiseme hiyo kwa leo lakini pension scheme nyingi ni mbaya Imagine whatever you we pay like how much do people pay by NSSF 2200 in a month 200 times 60 of 5 years 60 years eh 200 times 30 ah times 12 2000 times how many years ya kazi kwa sababu hiyo 60 sio sio miaka yote umefanya kazi times kama 30 ama 35 sio ndio eh times 35 inakuwa ngapi na kwa kazi Every pay 2200 pay ya mtu ambaye anakachuleta 77000 eh 77000 hiyo 77000 miaka hiyo ikiisha unalipwa a percentage ya hiyo inakuwa ni 30% ya mshahara ile unalipwa ya mwisho 
Inakuwa ni message gani? Yenye mtu analipagwa. Hata hiyo information ni amna. Na hiyo nalipo I think it should be that percent. Of what, of what you are earning ya mwisho. Yes. Okay? Then au lipi miaka yote? Okay? But even if they were to give you if you are to be given 77000 today to invest yourself you will make better money than what they will ever pay you ala wish okay make better money kama pension scheme yako ni ya watu kama kama kina na jubilee ni 5000 in a month hii le pesa unawapatia in a year if you are to invest yourself you make better money when you are still alive and kicking i will tell you this as we conclude manevo worship award kazi yao ni kinyume na kazi yetu okay and they cannot be able to overcome us unless they weaken us and for them because they cannot be able to fight our spirit because our god is bigger than their god he was is our rock is not like their rock even themselves being the judges So, you know us one can overcome a thousand na hiyo inamaanisha nini ukipita pale town center uangalie nyumba ya fulani ya fulani ya fulani ya fulani uone wote ni wenye dhambi inamaanisha kwamba wewe unaweza kuchukua zote kila peke yako inamaanisha hivyo Lakini that is why ukianza kudai mtu na mdai kwa biti anakuitia lunch. Mnakula lunch? Sasa wewe jamaa sasa ni mbaya hivyo. In fact hata nilipa. Sasa nilipa tu. Sasa ni mbaya hivyo. Umeroba. Yaani kuna kitu ambacho ameweka. From that lunch moja unaweza kaa miaka tambo kuja kukubali kukumbuka tena kwamba ulikuwa unadai now as we go home today i want you to begin to practice in your small way you believe god and god i was told today that your food is different na ukimaliza kula walikuwa wakimaliza kula wanachukua chakula kawaida kama ni ungu kama ni ugali kama ni chapati ya kawaida tu unachukua peace unasema kama vile Yesu wako ndani yangu who huo mwili wa Yesu it is not something ya kusudi ya kunitetea huko ni enako naomba nikuone hapa nione neema yako na nione nguvu zako kwa jina la Yesu Kristo waliye bwana ya kwamba nyosha mkono wako unitetee kwenye kipengele cha maisha kilichoko mbele inaomba kila cha nimewahi kula chakula nimewahi lishwa maji nimewahi nyeshwa ambao yananitatiza mpaka leo ambao yaliingilia pale yakana jinsi nafsi yangu ikawa iwezi kupokea vizuri kutoka kwa roho yangu na nikakaa maisha ambayo hayana kupokea vizuri kutoka rohoni inaomba siku ya leo hayo maji ya pigwe leo hicho chakula kipigwe leo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo chakula cha shangazi chakula cha nyanya nikaanza kuwa na mawazo yasiyofaa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo leo inafungua maisha yangu kutokana na hicho chakula nimeshaikula mwili wa Yesu hebu mwili wa Yesu upige kila chakula kingine kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo inakanyaga kila chakula zilizowekwa ndani na wachawi wakakaa wakinojea kuona manifestation yake katika jina la Yesu Kristo natangaza leo ya kwamba kila ubabeli ambao umefanya kazi kinyume nami chakula cha 
chini chakula cha waganga chakula cha wachawi chakula cha watu wa kitamaduni ambacho nimewahi lishwa kikaanza kuniharibia mambo kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo nina kipiga rohoni leo na kinatoka ndani yangu hewa chakula toka kwa jina la Yesu Kristo inatangaza kila chakula ambacho kimebeba mawazo ya utajiri kilibeba mawazo ya ufanisi wa maisha kilibeba ujasiri na ukakamavu niliyokuwa
Baba ni natangash Kila mtu alieko Under the sound of my voice Chochote kiliondolewa kwa ke Kwa mamlaka ulio ni patia Na kile yesha leo Kwa jina la yesu pishti Chochote ya macho Ochancha ulitumika Ochancha wa chakula Ochancha wa usharati Ochancha wa machi Ochancha wa wate ulitumika Wakaondoa sehemu ya maishi yako Wakaondoa potensho Wakaondoa nyota Nina urejesha leo Kwa jina la yesu kristo Nina urejesha kile chama macho kiliondolewa Nina kirejesha kwako Magari yako ya pokei Mashamba yako ya pokei Pokea mjema yako
kwa mikono yako juu. Vitu vinarejea kwa wanadamu. Vitu vinarudi kwa wanadamu. Walio kupiga ni mashetani yaliyovaa miili ya watu. Vitu vinarejeshwa, mikono inakatika iliyoshikilia vitu vyako. Miguu iliyokuwa inakimbiza mali zako kwenda kuficha kwenye mashimo inakatika. Inakatika naona vitu vyako vikimea mguu. Zingine zinamea mabawa zinaruka kuja kwako. Zinarejea mahali kwako, zinajua direction yako. Zinajua your address vitu vyako vinarejea. Vitu vya kufanyia kazi ya Bwana, fedha za kufanyia kazi ya Bwana, ndege za kufanyia kazi ya Bwana, magari ya kufanyia kazi ya Bwana zinarejea. Vitu vyako vinapaa, vinapaa, vinamea mabawa zinarejea. Zinarejea mawazo na sema nasi jina lako litukuzwe sana ukaimidiwe asante kwa sababu ya kila mmoja unayemfahamu kwa jina asante kwa watu wako walioko hapa na wale ambao wanaenda kuja ninabarikisha hawa mikononi mwako 
Bwana maisha ya siwe bila tena. Yes. Mambo yote tuliyozungumza leo yes. yametoka rohoni mwako. Yes. Yametoka kwenye kiti chako cha enzi. Inaomba ya kwamba watu watu wako wanapoenda majumbani waende na upako na neema itokao kwenye kiti chako cha enzi. Yes. Ya kwamba maneno haya yakawe hai ndani yao. Yes. Maneno haya kajenge kwenye nafsi zao. Yes. Yakapatie roho zao nafasi ya kuondoa mizigo yes. ambao wamebeba kwenye roho zao na kuleta kwenye nafsi zao ili izalike kwenye ulimwengu wa kawaida. Yes. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo, inaachilia ufanisi rohoni. Inaachilia ufanisi kwa mambo ya rohoni. Yes. Uwe na nguvu za rohoni nyingi. Upate majumba yako, magari yako, mashamba yako resources zote yes. ambao unalihitaji kwa ajili ya kutimiza atma yes. zije juu yako yes. baba naomba asiwepo mtu yeyote atakaye dharau kufanikiwa yes. atakaye dharau kupata yes. atakaye dharau kuinuka yes. kwa maana wanahitaji waweze kuwa effective yes. kwenye kazi yako yes. ninafunga mashetani ya kuonyesha wanadamu kana kwamba si sawa kuweza kupata ndani yako na panda roho wa kuwaza Mungu aliye tajiri anapenda watoto wake wawe tajiri inawafunika kwa damu ya Yesu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini amen, amen. amen. pigia Yesu makofi mazuri naomba tutoe sadaka zetu kipesi tunapotoa sadaka zetu shika sadaka yako tuinene kisha tuweze kutoa sadaka zetu tunapotoa sadaka nataka nikaribishe mchungaji pastor Kim